Hey guys. So I've gotten a request to talk about eyeshadow brushes and which ones I like, what brands I like, what style of brush to use um, when you're doing eyeshadow looks. So I thought I would just make a quick video and talk about that. So I have some of my favorite eyeshadow brushes laid out. Some of them are kind of dirty because I just use them. The first brand I want to talk about is Morphe. Morphe brushes. A lot of people have um, talked about them. They've gotten really big in the past couple of years. And they're super affordable too. You can find them at Ulta. They're just really good quality. I bought my first, or I was gifted my first um, brush set from them the winter of 2013. Going into 2014. I still have them, so they're still rocking. The first one I'll talk about that I think is the most important is a crease brush. And I have two, two of them from Morphe. I think they're the same brush, just two different collections. But a crease brush is really fluffy and some of them can taper in more at the end to give you more of a precise crease. And these are both ones that I use every single day. This is all I use today, actually. <clears throat> I think it was this one um, in my crease. I just took some of my Hoola bronzer and put that all over my lid and into my crease just to give me a nice transition shade. These are definitely a must use. So anything in your crease, you, you want a fluffy brush. The next one I think everyone should have in their collection is a flat brush. Now this is what you're gonna put on your lid. Instead of using a swiping motion or a blending motion like we did with our crease brush. You want to use a flat brush for your lid and you're just going to tap the product wherever you want it. And it's going to give you more of a full coverage. A tip too if you're wanting to use like a sparkly shadow to spray your brush with a setting spray or some water um, or any face spray before dipping into your glitter eyeshadow and then you can press. It'll show up a lot better. So two essentials that you need. Next one I think comes in handy when you're doing like a multiple colored look and it's like a shorter sort of flat brush. I'll show you next to the larger versus the crease brush. This I usually use if I'm doing two colors on the lid. So if I'm doing a bigger area, I'll use this. If I'm wanting to do like my outer corner to have some depth and maybe do like a darker brown or a black or just a different color, I'll use the smaller brush because you can get a little more precise and I'll just use a tapping motion with that as well. Then one I like to grab every day as well is a little small dome brush. I think that's what you call it. I like to use these for the inner corner of my eye highlight, brow bone highlight. You can also use this under your eye if you want like to smudge a deeper color or an eyeliner out. That's also really good for that. Next brush I'll show you is meant for like the under eye liner, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> this is a brush that I use almost every day as well. This is not from Morphe. I think it's called the Bullet Crease. Dome 221. Oh, it's Sephora brand. They also have really good brushes. The next one is also by Morphe. This I use a lot for smudging out eyeliner because it's super precise. So I'll just kind of swipe it like that. Or if I want to do my top, I can do that as well. Or you can just dip right in with the eyeshadow, even if you didn't use liner. And you can kind of create your own liner look with this. This one technically isn't eyes, but it's an eyebrow brush for those of you who like to use powders or um, a cream for your eyebrows. This one is from Sephora, but you can get, Morphe has a really good one, It Cosmetics has a good one, Benefit Cosmetics has a good one really similar to this. This is just the one that I have, but all any of those brands will work just as well. On one end, you've got your flat pointed brush. Why can't angled? That's what I meant to say. <laughs> and then the other side has a little spoolie for you to brush in. You'll just use the flat angle to fill in with any of your powders and then the brush to brush it out. 
And then this one is from Sonia Kashuk. I think you can get at like Target, um, some Ulta's I think as well. But this one is just a flat concealer brush. So I wouldn't use this for eyeshadow. I'll show you the difference between the two. This one is good for eyeshadow because it's more of a soft bristle. This one is similar, more similar to like a paintbrush. Um, so it's better with creams and liquids. So these are what I use for concealer when I want to carve out my brow. So I'll take a little bit of concealer and then I'll just carve it and then blend throughout. So these I feel like are kind of important if that's what you're looking to do with it. Use concealer and to carve it out, to carve out your brows, but if you don't do that, then it's not really a necessity. I have another crease brush similar to our first one. It's just a little bit smaller. For people who have smaller eyes or sometimes I'll do two colors in my crease. If I want more of a broad color like I have going on today, I'll use the big brush. And then I might take the smaller crease brush and put it just right in that crease for some depth. But that way I still have the blend, the blended um, shadow above the crease. I'm having a really hard time talking right now. I'm on day 11 of quarantine, so bear with me, please. Yeah, I think this is really all you need. I have multiples of crease brushes and liner brushes and things like that. These are the seven brushes I would say that you need. Well, we don't really need a brow brush, I guess. That you need in your collection to complete an eyeshadow look. Like I said, most of these are Morphe brand, which is just what I go to and I really like. And they're also really affordable. So yeah, if you have anything else you wanna see, just leave a comment and let me know. All right, thanks, bye.